The last time I was this nervous for an install, it was a big commercial job. Um, and I just dreaded it. I dreaded it. I remember I asked Mike to come help me with that install. He never helped me outside of finishing before. Um, but I asked him to come help me, and he was, ah, sure, whatever. So I called him yesterday. I was like, Mike, I need help tomorrow, man. Oh, dude, I'm getting sick. I feel like crap again. I'm like, crap. He's like, I'll call you in the morning. I'll let you know. So I called another guy just to help with labor, carrying stuff. Man, I love having Mike there to help me. He's just smart. He's good at figuring out different things. So I am nervous. I didn't sleep much. I kind of have a pukey feeling. It's kind of weird. I just haven't had that for a long time. But it's just different what we're doing, I guess. But I think I've got her figured out. i got to run down to our the warehouse and grab a few saw horses gotta swing by Lowe's to get some hardware um, then go home hook up the trailer load up some tools um, we're gonna be there by 10 7 now so should have done all this yesterday I always do that I think I'll just do it all in the morning <sighs> that's not a good motto not a good motto <laughs> Got everything. Trailer's loaded. 9.15, 15 minutes early. So we're just gonna wait for Dalton here to show up. Hopefully he didn't sleep in. Head over there. It's gonna be a good day. We're gonna get this done. <laughs> It out. Fuck it out. All right, so let's take a second to talk about who you have help you. Uh, so in the beginning, I was always reluctant to have people help me. Um, you know, I'd always have like labor help, or like someone to pick up or someone to grab tools. But I didn't really want anyone helping me that knew any more than that. If that sounds weird. Uh, Mike, my finisher, has always uh, always finished my my furniture. Always has. Uh, extremely talented finisher. But then I started realizing how good he is at woodworking and problem solving, which is like the main thing I want to talk about. Um, so today, I really wanted Mike there. And I called him last night. I said, Mike, you going to help me? Can you help me tomorrow on this install? And he was like, oh, I don't really like that. You know, like he's not a big installer. I'm like, dude. I'll pay you good money for one day just to be there. You know what I mean? Like, so he's been to several installs and every install he has helped me tremendously. So I guess what I'm trying to get at is it is worth your weight in gold to find someone you completely trust that has been in this industry for a very long time uh, to help you, whether it's on site um, financial advice, work advice, business advice, anything. Find someone you trust, you can put your whole trust in, and would be there for you in 
a split second to help anything out. That's what I'm getting at, is surround yourself with people that will invest just as much time in your business as you will. He was there today, helped out a lot, uh, gave me a lot of good advice, a lot of good tips, a lot of good tricks. So anyways, Mike was there. Find yourself a mic and use them. I just edited the first half. Me and my wife are going out tonight, uh, go out to eat, uh, just wherever the road may take us. So when I get home tonight, I, I don't really know what time, uh, all I have to do is edit the, this part of us going out. So we're, we're, getting re we're getting ready to go now. So I'll edit this. You'll see this tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>